sorry. I just had my operation done to and they harvested or took out the cells and um, it worked really well actually and it really hurt near as much as I had expected and I was out of there in 20 minutes afterwards so um, so now I have to wait for them to um, cultivate and, and get the cells ready and I'll be back and uh, so yeah everybody the staff was really nice and you know, it went really well so pretty excited about it. So yeah, I'm in Spain now and that video was taken by my sister um, at the hospital here in Spain, Barcelona, Spain. So it's been a couple days now and I feel no pain from the procedure. I had almost no pain during the procedure and after the procedure as well. They did the procedure while I was conscious under local anesthesia and general anesthesia. So um, I was, yeah, aware of what was going on, but... Um, kind of in this foggy cloud um, and I walked out of the hospital um, I, right after I took that video. As you can see from this picture that I took of myself um, right after I got out of the operating room, um, the puncture wounds, they're just two small ones, they're needles I guess. Um, I didn't really get to see what how, how they harvested the stem cells. Basically it, it's just two little holes like a, a needle hole. So I haven't had any like really difficulty recovering or any pain in the last couple of days at all. Here's a picture of me with Dr. Gillette. Um, he's a super nice guy. Um, he gives you your time. He doesn't rush you and answers whatever questions you have. Um, he also speaks uh, really good English, which is really nice. Um, I speak fluent Spanish, but... Um, so that comes in handy off and on, but the most of the staff at the hospital, they speak uh, fluent, well, some of them speak fluent English, some uh, just a little bit of English, but most of them speak some English. Barcelona is a really beautiful city from what I can see. I haven't really got to do anything touristy or got to see anything really, but um, it's just the, the pain in my back. I'm trying to um, control that. The flight over caused a lot of inflammation that I didn't have before the trip. So I'm just having to uh, to kind of nurse that with ice packs and, and relaxing, laying down and, and taking it easy. So um, that's the most important priority. Dr. Gillette just explained something to me the other day. Um, he said that the discs uh, that respond best to the stem cells are the ones that uh, have the most inflammation going into the procedure. So he said in my case, my discs do have a lot of inflammation. And so because of that, there's a good chance that this stem cell procedure will work. I guess the stem cells re react better um, in a disc that has inflammation. The other thing that he explained to me is that when they inject the stem cells, it's not a matter of the stem cells uh, being injected and the volume of the stem cells inflating the disc. Um, the, the idea is that the stem cells go in there and just regenerate um, life in the disc. I forgot to mention in the last video that I'm not getting anything out of uh, making these videos. I didn't know Dr. Gillette or the lab or anything like that before and they're not giving me anything to make these videos. I'm just making them because there was no information on YouTube or very little information even on the internet with people talking about their experience of having this uh, done with um, stem cells injected into the uh, the discs. So yeah, I'm pretty optimistic about all of this and I hope that um, this does a trick. I'm pretty tired of being in pain all the time. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll probably update you guys after they do the injections of the stem cells. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Thanks.